Cooks, shoot your arrows! Cooper Cup plucks it out of the air and gives the Rams the lead. Robert Wood, touchdown! LA! Dog goes crashing into the end zone! Aaron Donald almost beat the football there. Corey Littleton, have yourself a day. Picked off, Marcus Peters. Coming off the edge, and Ryan will be wrapped up by Clay Matthews. Everett in stride! Wow! Franklin Myers gets his hand down there. Leno got a hand on it, did he pick it? He did! Racing down the sideline is a key to lead. Gurley for MVP! Touchdown LA! Picked off by John Johnson. Well, Dante Fowler, who is able to get to breathe. Greg Sirline sends the Rams to the Super Bowl! Oh! LA wow. will play for the Lombardi! All right, joining us on the show, we have Rams wide receiver Nasimba Webster. How's it going, man? Thanks so much for coming on. I appreciate you guys. Uh, I mean, uh, for you guys having me. Appreciate it. What's going on? Yeah, of course. We're so excited to talk to you. And just to start this off, we just want to hear a little bit about how you got into the game of football. Uh, football has been in my family for a while. I mean, before I was even born, you know, my my father played football. I mean, back in his day, then all the brothers kind of. I mean, uh, put me on game as well. So uh, I just grew to love it. I watched it on TV as a kid. My my parents would say uh, I used to uh, like imitate the NFL replays all the time as a kid. So it just grew on me. And then, of course, uh, I played uh, I mean, for the first time at a young age. And then I just kept playing. I loved the game. I mean, I mean really well. Yeah, of course. And, and growing up, did you have a favorite NFL player that you looked up to? Uh, growing up, I was a huge fan of Michael Vick growing up. Um, coming up, I was, I mean, I wanted to play running back, but then when I see Michael Vick play, that made me want to be, um, I mean, a quarterback. So I, I chose to be a quarterback as a kid growing up and then watching him play was remarkable. Uh, he, just the way he, his, his game is, you know, as a quarterback, he can throw and run. So he said he was so dynamic. <clears throat> yeah, definitely. And, uh, you know, it's funny about my that answer because I would say, and Jake, you can kind of back me up here. Um, I would say about 75% of guys we interview at least mention Michael Vick in some capacity because he was just that kind of player yeah. who, who oh, people yeah. just uh, love to watch and, right. and idolize you know, their game after. Uh, but you, know, you ended up playing uh, – your her having your college career at Eastern Washington. Uh, what was your overall experience right. like there? Uh, Eastern Washington was a great experience. You know, I don't regret that decision going there. Uh, just the program itself. You know, they they made me feel right at home, and then just this was the process. You know, of just getting myself situated there. Uh, at first, you know, you don't go through some bumps and uh, some bumps over the road, but then uh, once you find find that rhythm, find that uh, that zone, and then just on the football field. I started to, you know, uh, I mean, like get things down. The game started to slow down for me. And then I feel like um, I did a great job for, um, I mean, with my um, Eastern Washington career, you know, learning from guys like Cooper Cup and those guys as uh, receivers. And then now I'm just ready to just, so I'm, I mean, I showcase my talent on the highest level possible. Oh, yeah, of course. And, and we definitely um, can, you know, see that. Um, but, you know, one thing, you know, you mentioned Cooper Cup, and I was going to ask you, you know, obviously your teammates with Cooper Cup, you were teammates with Samson Ibukam. They're both on the Rams. I want to know, have you, uh, have you, you know, had any communication with them since uh, joining this team? And, and did maybe, you know, that, that kind of pipeline that the Rams set in there, drafting two guys from Eastern Washington, help get you to L.A.? Um, I think it maybe has, you know, um, on draft day, actually, once, um, I got the call and everything, uh, I got the phone, I texted Coop, you know, cause I still keep in touch with him and those guys. So I texted Coop, I sent him um, a Rams emoji <laughs> and, um, he was definitely like, oh, you're a Ram? <laughs> I was like, yeah. And so he was then like, 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 uh, he replied saying, let's go, you know, with so much excitement and everything like that. And um, my guy, Samson, he hit me up actually yesterday, uh, wanted me to come out there early <laughs> to spend time with him and everything like that. But uh, he texted me, Frank, congratulations, man. It's great to have you and everything. So it was definitely a huge moment for me just to, just to uh, join a, um, a great um, – uh, I mean, like a great team, great um, 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 organization, 
and then have guys that you know on the team is kind of make me, you know, kind of feel comfortable going into this. Yeah, absolutely. And, uh, you know, I just kind of want to touch a little bit um, about uh, Eastern Washington. I mean, do you have like a one memory or one moment that stands out to you the most from your time there? Um, I, I would say one memory that I would not forget was, I think, my last home game on on the red field when um, – we won that game going to uh, – I mean, to go to the national championship. I would say that was my greatest moment, you know, just um, – we're the second team in history to do that in, um, you know, school history. So that moment right there, just winning that game. And then I would be – and, and, like, and, and, like, I played a, a huge part in that uh, in that win. It was definitely a great moment to uh, to have with my teammates and to just know that, okay, we're going to the championship to, to play for it all. That was one of the great moments of my life. All right, Nassim, I'm going to be completely honest with you. The red field scares me <laughs> watching watching <laughs> your guys' film. I mean, it's terrifying, you know. Um, I'm not a football purist or anything like that. Just it was definitely eye-opening. Mm-hmm. Um, but I want to get your, your thoughts on playing on a red football field because I've never interviewed anybody from Eastern Washington mm-hmm. before, and I've always been curious, right. you know, your thoughts on that. Well, <laughs> honestly, you're not the only one that said that. So I'm not really surprised for you not to uh, feel that way, honestly. Um, I mean, like, even on film, when we watch film, you know, it kind of bothers us a little bit watching the, uh, the red field. <laughs> like, once you're on the field, it's a total different look, I guess you could say. It's not that bad as you think, but definitely the TV makes it really stand out, kind of hurts your eyes. So, I mean, <laughs> over time I got used to it, so, so it's not that bad. <laughs> Yeah, and, uh, you know, I just want to touch a little bit on, um, obviously we talked a lot about your time at Eastern Washington, and it sounds like you had a really good time there. Uh, You know, it just sounds like an incredible college experience for sure. But, you know, when college ended, you then focused on the pre-draft process. What was that like? Oh, it was was great, you know, because, I mean, like every athlete would wish to be in in that position, you know, to have a chance to to make it to the next level. So, um, the draft, the draft process was huge. You know, I trained out there in, in Colorado at Landau Performance. They did a great job, you know, preparing us for pro day and everything with uh, just speed and explosiveness uh, to, uh, to have us right. And, um, you know, just trying to keep my head right, trying to make sure I'm focused so I can kill that day. And then from there on, you know, gain interest in the NFL, you know, because, you know, there's a lot of athletes out there that they're looking at, and then you have to really make yourself stand out. So that was my biggest uh, thing in the process, just, you know, attacking everything, like season the moment, so I can uh, be in the best situation possible. Yeah, of course, man. And, you know, we, we already talked about it a little bit. You know, obviously you're picked up by the Rams. Um, you know, what was the whole 24, 48-hour, you know, period like after the draft ended? Um, it was nothing but just excitement, you know, because, um, my family was there and everything like that. I kind of knew I was going to go day three. So, um, I kind of have just, just, just my, um, my close family, just my mom and dad, my brothers and everything like that. They're all there. And once I got the call, um, I just felt this, just, I mean, just out of words, you know, because you dreamed of this, of this moment since you was a kid. And then now it's actually coming to reality. Now you have opportunity to, uh, really, Show your talent at the highest level possible. You know, there's nothing that can beat that. So, and then it will. Then there's only a small percentage of people around the whole nation that gets to have this opportunity. So, I'm definitely was happy and grateful that I got this uh, chance. So, uh, I'm definitely not gonna waste it. <clears throat> yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, what was the what was your main uh, factor for choosing to sign with the Rams? Well, just. Um, me being a receiver and also just a football player, I this uh, special team as well. They're just a great team. Um, I've gotten um, phone calls I mean, throughout the week before draft day and everything like that from different teams showing interest. And um, I was, uh, was talking with uh, Coach Arbor, um, the receiver coach. I, I mean, with the Rams, he's been called. He called a few more. Uh, I mean, a few times, showing a lot of love and everything like that. And I definitely felt it, it definitely felt right. Uh, you know, with the Rams and everything. And then once um, I heard that I got the call and everything like that with the Rams, I just knew, okay, this this just seems right, you know, because even before, uh, they've just shown a lot of love. So I'm definitely happy that uh, they uh, 
that I've chosen this and then uh, they picked me up in one of my interests. Yeah, you know, I definitely hear you there. Um, just want to ask, you know, what are you most excited about as you officially enter an NFL rookie mini camp this week? And I know, you know, kind of take that in because I mean that, you know, when you hear those words, it's like, wow, it's like actually happening. You know, it's it's you you right. were, you know you go right. through all this all this uh, high school and, and college and, and now you're here. So, you know, what are you most excited about? I'm just excited about strapping it up and just get, just, uh, just getting ready to just. To sink in every knowledge that I can uh, gather, you know, uh, ready to get after it, you know, because uh, I mean, of course, you can't take this uh, these moments for granted, and you have to really attack each day and every day, you know. It's not, it's just not college and school. I mean, where school is, this is like a straight business. So um, I'm just looking to just explore out of the canyon right when I get there, learn the playbook. I, I mean, the playbook, you know, I mean, get it down, watch film and everything like that, so I can be. I mean, so I can. Uh, gather all information so I can just execute on the field instead of just thinking, you know, because that's one of the biggest things is is a lot of mental. I mean, they're playing this game. So my biggest thing is just going out there, being explosive and making plays and just getting down that playbook so I can just be relaxed and have the game slow down on me. Yeah, absolutely. And just for our Rams listeners out there, I mean, what are they getting from this Simba Webster as a player on the field and a person off of it? First off, off the field, uh, they're going to get a great guy who is just interactive with everybody. You know, I like to, uh, direct, uh, I mean, to talk with everybody. I'm, I have a great personality, I feel like, and then I, t- I was told that as well. And I'm a funny guy as well, I guess people would say. So I'm definitely trying to interact with, with my new teammates and everything like that, get things going, have good vibes. Um, on the field, uh, you're getting the um, – a huge playmaker who can make plays and be at the same time who can help others make plays as well. It's me making a block or anything like that, you know, of a guy who's very um, encouraging as well, you know, who doesn't want to uh, uh, like criticize their teammates. You know, I, I, I mean, I want to uh, uplift my teammates. I don't want them to like uplift me, you know, but they're going to be made, but at the same time, we're here to get better and we're here to, uh, uh, to excel um, I'm in this league. So that's one thing I'm bringing up to, I mean, to the table with my game. Yeah, I don't think you could have said that any better, honestly. Um, you know, it, it's it's been, you know, really cool to, to get to, to know you a little bit. Um, you know, we reached out and you yeah, were you were very uh, responsive. So, you know, we really appreciate you, uh, you know, setting this up with us. Really excited to get you on the show. And uh, we're excited to see you in Horns. And, man, stay healthy. Let's keep in touch and, and you know, go get on that 53. Almost definitely, man. I appreciate the, uh, the time for you guys to uh, have me on, I'm on the show. It really means a lot. Yeah, of course. Thank you so much, Simba. Appreciate you. Thank you so much. You got it, man. Take care. You as well. All right, join the show. He's former Youngstown State offensive lineman, now Rams offensive lineman, Vitas Harankowitz. How's it going, man? Thanks so much for coming on. No, no problem. It's going real well. I appreciate you guys having me on, and uh, I look forward to talking to you guys. Yeah, of course. We're so excited to talk to you. And just to start this off, um, we're just curious to know, how did you get into the game of football? Oh, So, growing up, I was actually more of a baseball player. You know, I was always, New Jersey has Pop Warner rules, and I was always a little bit too heavy, obviously, being an offensive lineman. So, grew up playing uh, baseball, basketball, know wrestling and kind of doing the typical typical guy sports and then when i got to high school um my cousin had played football and you know he had got a division one double a offer to lafayette and was always you know in my ear about playing i said you'll be good you know here i'm so big so i decided to take it up and you know it was almost like love at first sight (laughs) (laughs) that's awesome man and like growing up did you have a favorite player in the nfl um, I like John running the old left tackle from the Eagles. You know, I, I grew up in New Jersey, so I was about halfway between Philadelphia and New York. And, um, you know, I was either, you know, go with the family and be Giants fans or, you know, grow up trying to be a little rebellious and like the Eagles. So I was always a kind of a John running fan growing up. Yeah. And, uh, you know, you ended up playing your college career at Youngstown State. What was your overall experience there like? Oh, oh, it's my second home. Um, Youngstown is just, you know, there's so much deep tradition, especially in football and, 
you know, with the coaching pedigree that's coming out of there, and you know, just with their 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 level of excellence and kind of their championship pedigree on the field, you kind of I was really I was really bought into the, the culture that Polini, the coach Bo Polini, set up for me, and you know, it was just an overall tremendous experience. Yeah, absolutely, man, and um, you know, kind of just something we'd like to ask. You know, sure. if you had to pick, what would you say is like your one shining moment at uh, Youngstown State? I don't really have time of great memories, but I think my sophomore year we went and we played the national championship game, and uh, you know, in the semifinal game we're playing at Eastern Washington, and uh, it's a kind of a back and forth game. They had a Cooper Cup, you know, who was Rams wide receiver, you know, and uh, Samson Egobot. Was there, who also played for the Rams, was playing for Eastern Washington. And we, with about five seconds left, we're, we're down, I think, uh, five points. And, uh, you know, from 20 yards out, our quarterback throws a touchdown. And, you know, to, to take us to the national championship game, number one play on ESPN. So, you know, that was kind of a super exciting moment for me and you know, one of the things I'll never forget. Yeah, absolutely. That sounds awesome. And, uh, you know, obviously just sounds like you had a really great college experience. And then when your college career is over, you began the pre-draft process. Uh, how was the mm-hmm. pre-draft process like for you? Uh, it, it's stressful. I mean, it's, it's, it's exciting, you know, it goes from your all-star games to the, you know, the combine, the pro day and everything. So it's, it's super exciting going out of, you know, out of, out of your senior year and finishing up college and knowing that, you know, that's you potentially have more football to play. And, you know, I had, I had a pretty solid senior year, a pretty good junior year, and I, I knew that that was, you know, I'd been invited to a major all-star game, so I knew I was going to pursue that. And, um, you know, it, it's just, it's a whole nother world when football becomes, you know, not your extracurricular in college or, you know, your joy time in high school, but, you know, it becomes your full-on profession, you know. It's just everything is kind of taken into a new level, and you kind of understand that the, the meticulous details that you can kind of look over in college or, Know, things that you didn't really have to do, you need to do in the NFL, and you, know, you got to find figure out ways to make yourself stick. And you know, me being an undrafted player, it's you know every little thing from the playbook to my work ethic to just how I conduct myself as a man. So, you know, it's been kind of crazy, but you know, I couldn't be happier for where I ended up. Yeah, and just talking about you know the pre-draft process. I mean, what's one area in your game you feel you improved on the most? Um, you know, spending all that time, uh, you know, um, working out in the off season. Sure, um, I think you know going through our college, I started forty games at center. So you know, I didn't really have all experience in other positions, and you know, I worked with uh, Ryan Jensen, the center for the Bucks, and then I worked with Todd Plumbus, and other offensive linemen who played at. Uh, he played for the Broncos, and he also played for the Seahawks. And, you know, they kind of developed me more as a interior swing guy, someone that can only play center but, you know, can play both guard positions, kind of learn how to play with my hand down. And I've always been a pretty good run blocker. I think physicality is something I bring to every team I've been on. So, you know, they kind of learning how to be able to set and different things in the pass game that's really going to help me in not only the Rams offense, but in developing myself as the best offensive lineman possible. You know, I think that's kind of my, my biggest change that I think I saw in myself or the pre-draft process. Yeah, and, uh, you know, you obviously were picked up by the Rams as a UDFA, and uh, mm-hmm. which we were excited about because obviously that's our favorite team. Uh, but, <laughs> you know, if you could just describe a little bit to us about what that whole 24-48 hour period after the draft was like. Sure, sure. Sure. So, you know, going up the week of the draft and everything, you know, because, you know, that's when it really starts. I probably received 25 phone calls from 25 different teams, just, you know, figuring out exactly all the different specific numbers they need for me, my agent situation, you know, my pre draft workouts, trying to kind of confirm everything and figure out, okay, well, you know, this is what's going on. And, Every team leaves you this optimistic feeling of, oh, man, this is going to be the team. Oh, these guys really like me, you know. But it's, it's a business. So, you know, going into day three, I knew I had a potential to be a late-round pick or you know, I knew I could find on draft to create. So, which are, you know, me and my agent had prepared for. We had, play, you know, we had looked into a few teams and kind of saw what, uh, you know, what teams needed centers, what teams, you know, I could really make a run early at, especially interior offensive line. So, uh we knew that if you know, if like teams had offered me contracts, 
uh, it would be a no-brainer. And, you know, I received a few offers leading up almost to the, almost to the end of the draft, and I was kind of curious to know if, if I didn't get drafted, you know, who was going to fit and everything. And then my agent called me, and I, I had uh, known the Rams were a really, really good fit, and they were probably our number one going into the draft. And if they didn't pick me up, that's where I wanted to be in free agency. And, you know, when they offered, it was a no-brainer. So it turned out very well for me. Yeah, it, without a doubt. And, you know, at, at the end of the draft, I mean, I, I like to ask this question because, mm-hmm. I mean, really, you really, this is like only, you know, somebody like you were in this position, like I wasn't. So I, I'm just always interested to know, you know, yeah. after the draft ends and, and you seem, you know, fairly open to, you know, signing mm-hmm. as a UDFA, do you mm-hmm. instantly think, I just want to sign to a team or are you more focused on the fit? It's all about the fit. You know, I think people can get enamored with, you know, signing bonuses or, you know, how many offers they get. But, you know, it don't, you know me, my agent, and you know, my family, it only takes one, you know. If it's a great fit, you know, you could be an undrafted free agent and just absolutely have a phenomenal career. And, you know, regardless of what kind of goes on, it, it's really you know, that's kind of the biggest impact it really has. Yeah, absolutely. And you kind of touched on this a little bit earlier, but just, uh, you know, for our listeners, what was it exactly that made you sign with the L.A. Rams? Well, I knew the Rams had a lot of opportunity at center, you know, I think especially on the interior of the line with, um, you know, uh, you know, the center, the center leaving, and then uh, they lost the guard to Tennessee. I think that just presented a lot of opportunity for me to come and compete early. And you know, they drafted two tackles, and I'm sure the, I'm sure they'll, everyone will get, you know, we'll kind of see how everyone plays at all five positions. But I, I really wanted to go in a team that, not only presented a, a kind of a, a great, um, a great atmosphere, but just an opportunity that I could really make something for myself. Cause that's what it's about. And, uh, the Rams really presented that. I, I loved the offensive line coach when I spoke with him. Uh, I've loved the culture. I loved all the scouts I interviewed with throughout the entire process. So, you know, it, it was just a, you know, a dream, real dream come true to become part of the organization. And so it, it kind of sounds to me like the Rams have met with you throughout the process, but like how many mm-hmm. times have the Rams yeah. you know, spoken with you? I spoke with the Rams a few times. I uh, I spoke with them when I was at my All Star game. I spoke. Um, I didn't get invited to the NFL Combine, so I spoke to them after that. And then um, going to Ohio University's pro day. Uh, when you are a Division One double double A player and you are going to a Division One. Pro day, you need a, a kind of a, a scout to kind of get you in. And the Rams were the team that got me in. They were the team that wanted to watch you work out. You know, they had paid individual attention to me when I was working out there. So, you know, they had talked to me then. And then up to the draft, I talked to the Rams multiple times. And you know, my agent was very close with two or three of the Rams scouts. So they were they were always they were always there. You know, throughout the process. So, uh, I'm very happy about that. Yeah, I mean, so are we. We're so excited, obviously, to have you on the Rams. So we love to kind of hear that story. But, you know, uh, NFL Rookie Minicamp is coming up. Uh, so what are you most excited about for that? I just can't wait to meet the guys, kind of be in the locker room and, you know, just start playing football again. You know, when you, when, you leave, uh, when you leave college and go through this process, you don't have a spring football. So, you know, for someone that loves the game and someone that's just excited to put the pads on again and kind of start running around, that's what I'm looking forward to. It's going to be awesome to be in L.A. It's going to be, you know, awesome to be coached by, you know, real NFL personnel now. And uh, I just can't wait to start. You excited for Hawaii? Because <laughs> uh, it sounds to me like you're going to be playing a Hawaii preseason game. Yes. No, that – I'm sure that will be unbelievable, you know. And uh, I know they're playing in the United Kingdom too, and, and that's going to be super exciting. But – you know, it's day by day for me. It's just, you know, getting through one practice, you know, one meeting at a time and just making sure you know, I'm doing everything I possibly can to put my best foot forward and you know, represent me and my family and this organization as best as possible. Yeah, and, uh, you know, just to wrap this up, um, you know, which is hard to do because we really love talking to you, but uh, – <laughs> You know, just for all of our Rams listeners out there, I mean, what are they getting in Vita Serenkowitz as a player, and what are they getting him as in him as a person? Absolutely, you know, I really appreciate this question. But um, you know, as a as a player, I'll address this you know, first. You're being a smart guy who's a tremendous work ethic and is a physical player. You know, 
I love setting the tone in the run game. You know, I think one of my best best parts of me and the, you know, what I really showed on my tape is that my aggression and my ability to really knock people off the ball really separates me in the class, you know. And I think my intelligence and my work ethic is also uncanny. You know, I, I've already graduated from college. I was a double major. Um, you know, I worked jobs throughout college along with football and you know, really trying to separate myself from that perspective. Um and, you know, we are in a student of the game who was really passionate about football, you know. It's not about, you know, anything except playing. I'm just excited to get out there. And uh, as a person, you're getting a good, wholehearted, nice East Coast guy who's coming out. And, you know, I really think uh, I'm a genuine person and really kind. And, you know, I'm excited to, excited to see L.A. and you know, meet the fans. Yeah, and we're excited to have you, man. Um, you know, I'm sure the Rams are as well. And, you know, I think this is a huge opportunity for you. I think you know that. Um, you know, good luck the rest of the way, man. You know, you, you made it through the draft process. You know, you <laughs> yeah. you survived and you're with a team. And, um, you know, we're excited for you. Uh, we'd love to stay in touch and just, uh, you know, no matter what, the key is availability. So just stay healthy, man. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. <laughs> no, I, I appreciate that. I appreciate you guys having me on the show. And, you know, uh, I look forward to staying in this process. And, you know, let's go Rams. Absolutely. Thank you so much, Vitas. No problem. Thank you.